Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Monday, so that means it is meal prep day. I have three absolutely delicious recipes coming your way. We have breakfast, we have lunch, and we have a delicious sweet treat that is almost gone. It's that good. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for this week's meal prep, stay tuned. breakfast this week I'm gonna be making ham and cheese muffins and we're just gonna pair these with some fruit for breakfast so these should be absolutely delicious they are a little bit higher in points but they're all your breakfast in one and if you pair it with some extra eggs or some fruit for zero points you can have a big hearty breakfast so let me show you what's in our ham and cheese muffins first you're going to need some flour of your choice Sweetener alternative, I always use the monk fruit from Lakanto. You guys know I love this. Butter, I'm gonna be using this melt plant-based butter. Now you could lower the points of this recipe if you went with a light butter, like I can't believe it's not butter. You would just wanna refigure your points. It will probably lower them a little bit using that butter in place of just a plant-based butter or a real butter. Non-fat Greek yogurt, you guys know I don't mind using this when I'm cooking. Baking soda, baking powder, you'll also need basil, diced ham or cubed ham, eggs, and a light shredded cheese. I'm just going to use the Trader Joe's three cheese blend. So let's make some breakfast. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and add in our two cups of flour. I'm using whole wheat flour, but you can really use any flour that you would like. We're also going to add in one quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener or your sweetener alternative of your choice. We want one tablespoon of baking powder. So we're gonna get a big tablespoon of that. That's gonna help these muffins rise and be delicious. And then we also want one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So this is a half of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna put in three of those. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix together the wet ingredients. Mix this together and then we'll combine it all into one bowl. Next, we're gonna mix the wet ingredients. I'm just gonna mix them directly here into my yogurt container, save ourselves a dish. So I'm gonna use the yogurt that I have left. The recipe calls for about a cup. I'm probably a little bit shy, but I'm gonna use what I've left here. I have my melt butter. I have four tablespoons. I just weighed that out on my food scale. I have two eggs that I lightly whisk together with a fork just to kind of get them nice and combine. And then we're just gonna take our spoon here and combine this the best that we can. Make Your butter is cold still, so it's gonna be a little bit chunky, but we wanna get this mixed the best that we can, and then we'll be ready to add this into the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in that mixed wet ingredients, the yogurt, the butter, and the eggs into our dry ingredients. Look at me, saving a dish. So if you are kind of at the last little bit of something, it makes sense to kind of mix it all in that disposable container. So there is that. We're gonna give this a stir. We wanna just mix this until combined. We don't wanna over mix it. We just want the wet ingredients mixed in with these dry ingredients. And lastly, we're gonna fold in one and one quarter cup of our light shredded cheese. I also have six ounces of the diced ham. Again, I weighed that out on my food scale. And we're gonna pop in some dried basil, and I would say to taste. The recipe calls for a teaspoon. I'm gonna probably put double that because you guys know basil's my very favorite. And then we are gonna mix this all in. Once everything is combined, we're ready to pop these muffins into the muffin tin and get these into the oven. Check this out. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? I went ahead and greased my muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I have the largest scoop that came in my little scoop pack from Costco. I'll link these down below. Super, super affordable. And I'm going to scoop in 12 equal servings of the muffin mix. And this recipe makes 12 ham and cheese muffins. So these are gonna be pretty darn good sized, you guys, for breakfast. You can just have one with some fruit. And like I said, you could add an additional egg or two if you're still a little bit hungry for zero smart points. So 
I'm stoked for these. So let's get these scooped into these little muffin tins and then we'll be ready to get these into the oven. All right, look at these beauties. These look amazing. These are going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. We wanna check these after 15 because they may be done. So per the recipe, we're gonna take a peek at 15 minutes, but I'll be back to show you our completed ham and cheese muffins. Holy smokies, these look amazing. Look at these huge biscuits, you guys. Muffins, biscuits. Oh, I am so incredibly excited. I was a little nervous that one of these would be enough for breakfast, but these are huge. They will absolutely be plenty. Again, if you pair them with eggs or fruit, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let these cool just a few minutes so that I can easily pop them out. Oh, they look so good. They smell so good. And I'll be back to show you breakfast and give you the smart points. All right, here they are, you guys. These are huge. Look at these. I mean, they're very, very thick and dense. I'm so excited about these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna package up five of them in a separate little storage container for me, and the rest I'll pop into another storage container for Troy, and that way he can kind of munch on these throughout the week as well. So my goal is one of these per day, and I'm just gonna pair it with some fruit. So let's go over the smart points for these. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. These are freaking gorgeous. They smell so good. They are five smart points per muffin on all plans. So my breakfast will only be five points because again, I'm gonna pair this with some fruit. These are 188 calories per muffin. I will be giving calorie counts from here on out in all of my videos and I will include those calories on my website. So that's the 411 on these muffins. And again, holy macaroni, these look delish. week I'm making buffalo chicken meatballs. Can't wait to try out my new buffalo sauce that I got off Thrive. I'll show that to you guys. We're going to roast up some veggies to have on the side. It's going to be a very filling, delicious lunch. So first let me show you what is in our meatballs and then I'll show you what I'm going to roast up and how I'm going to season my veggies. So for the buffalo meatballs, we're going to need some celery. This is the buffalo sauce that I'm going to use. I have not tried this yet. This is the Noble Made from the New Primal Medium Buffalo Sauce. You guys, this is Whole30 approved. It is so low in smart points. Actually, I think it's zero points and it has fan fantastic ingredients. I actually picked this up off Thrive Market. Down in the description box is a link to join the Thrive Market. And when you do, you get $20 worth of free product, which is amazing. So you can add this buffalo sauce. They had mild, medium, really hot to your order. I can't wait to have this. You guys, I'm seriously so excited for this. So definitely check out Thrive. It is the best online market. I love them. It ships for free to your doorstep, save yourself a trip to the grocery store and its prices are 30% less than the grocery store. So I love Thrive. And then we're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, some garlic, ground chicken. This is the chicken that is zero points on both blue and purple. Some onion powder, butter. Of course, I'm using my melt plant-based butter. We'll also need some salt. And what meatballs that are buffalo aren't good without blue cheese crumbles. So we're gonna do blue cheese crumbles. You'll need an egg and lastly, some green onion. And now for the veggies, what I'm gonna roast up is the rest of these mushrooms. These are just the organic Baby Bellas from Costco. I'm gonna throw on some of these carrots just because I have a need to use these up. And I really like baby roasted, or baby roasted, baby carrots roasted. They're really, really delicious. I have three organic zucchini, and these came from my Imperfect Foods box, which is a delivery service of produce. It was really cool. Um, I'm really excited about it. So I'll link that down below too if you guys are interested. So there's three zucchinis for that. And then these also came from Imperfect Foods. These are organic Brussels sprouts, just three little bags. I'm gonna roast all of those up. We're gonna pop on some avocado oil, and then I'm gonna season it with my new favorite thing ever on pretty much everything. This is the Dax Nothing But The Ranch. Dax is a clean, which is amazing, spice, no salt, no MSG, real whole ingredients. If you've ever looked at the back of the ranch seasoning packet, it has a lot of questionable ingredients and all that's in here is dehydrated onion, 
dehydrated garlic, spices, citric acid, which is basically for preser preserving, parsley flakes, and chives. That's it, you guys, and it is so good. It's amazing on veggies. It's amazing on burgers. It's zero calories, zero smart points. Definitely check out Dax. I do have 10% off. I'll put my code here on the screen. It is linked down below. So we are going to season the heck out of our veggies with some ranch. So let's make some lunch. I cannot wait. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop. Now I am not going to chop my Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna roast them whole. I actually like them better roasted whole because it keeps them together. And then I also have decided that I like mushrooms roasted whole as well. They're nice and juicy when you bite into them. And then of course, I'm not going to cut up the baby carrots. So I've gotta chop up some green onions for the meatballs, celery for the meatballs, garlic for the meatballs, and then these zucchinis for roast. So let's chop. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 I and last but not least, let's add on some of these carrots. These are just the pretty multicolored carrots from Trader Joe's. And then we're gonna season this up. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees, which is the temperature we also are gonna cook the meatballs at. So that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna add a tablespoon of the avocado oil. So usually what I do is I go across like that, and then I go across like this. I count it as a tablespoon. A lot of it's gonna cook off, of course, while they're roasting, but I count one full tablespoon of oil. And then we're gonna heavily season it with this Dax Nothing But The Ranch, because let me just tell you how delicious this is on vegetables. You don't even need any salt, pepper, or anything. I mean, it's that delicious and flavorful. I have to be honest, this is probably my favorite seasoning from Dax. So I highly recommend them just because they're clean, they're salt and sodium free, so it's great before weigh-in, but they don't lack any flavor. I mean, the flavor is absolutely there. You just skip all the salt and the fake ingredients. So love, love, love. So there we have it. Let's get these in the oven at 425. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do for our meatballs is go ahead and grab out your small saucepan. To that, we're gonna add four tablespoons or 56 grams of butter. I did measure this out on my food scale. One third cup of the hot sauce or the buffalo sauce. You guys, I'm so excited to try this. And then one third cup of crumbled blue cheese. And then we're just gonna give this a stir. We're gonna throw this on the oven and we're just gonna warm this through. I forgot to mention we want a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in there as well. Now let's get this on the oven. All right, so we're gonna add this to the stove top. I've got it over medium high heat and we're just going to stir this until the butter is melted, the cheese is melted and everything is nice and combined. All right, so now we're gonna put together the meatball mixture. So into my bowl here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my one pound of ground chicken. And then I'm also going to add in my diced up or sliced up celery, my garlic. I'm excited to be using fresh garlic instead of minced garlic. I decided to try that out for a while. It's a little more work, but it's supposed to add a little bit better flavor. We're also going to add one egg to the meat mixture. And then one third of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. 
our delicious chopped up green onion. And then we're gonna season this mixture with a little bit of onion powder. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I would say about two teaspoons of onion powder. And then I'm gonna put in a pretty good sized pinch of salt. So maybe about a teaspoon of that as well. And then we're gonna mix this all together. And this is what's gonna form the meatballs that we'll be adding that amazing sauce to. So here is the meatball mixture. It looks amazing. I went ahead and grabbed out just a quarter sheet pan. I bought these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. Some parchment paper sprayed with nonstick cooking spray and the medium size scoop that came in that same pack. These are a lifesaver. I use them all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out my meatballs. So they're going to be pretty round and I'm going to go ahead and just scoop them out until this mixture is gone. This recipe makes four servings. So I don't really care how many meatballs I get. I'm just going to divide that final number by four and that's what I'm going to have for the meatball portion of my lunch. So the original recipe wanted you to add half of the hot sauce mixture to the meatballs. I'm not going to do that. I think it loses a lot of the flavor in the cooking process. I'm going to reserve my sauce for topping the meatballs. I think that's going to give it a little bit more richer flavor. So these are gonna go in right alongside the veggies at 425 for 15 to 17 minutes or until they're golden brown. Hey guys, veggies are out. These look absolutely delicious. This is four servings. So I'm gonna get a lot of veggies every day, which is perfection, but everything roasted up nice and crispy with that ranch. So excited. So the meatballs are just about done and then we'll put everything together. So the, while my meatballs cook, I've grabbed out all my meal prep containers for the week and I'm basically just going to divide the veggies up. I'm going to put them in the large side because luckily I have too many veggies, I think, to fit in the small side, which is fine by me. So I'm going to go ahead and just serve these up equally or as equal as I can between the four meal prep containers. And by then our meatballs should be done and we can finish assembling our lunch, but yum. So I have my veggies served up here in my meal prep container. That's a ton, which is super exciting. I just pulled out the meatballs. So it looks like I get three meatballs per day because this recipe makes four servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my three meatballs into the small side here of my meal prep container. And then we're gonna package up the buffalo sauce separately and we'll just pop it in here in a little container. So let's pop the meatballs in and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the sauce. So for the sauce, I just picked up out my little reusable containers. I'm just going to divide this sauce that we made into four servings. And that way we can just add the sauce to our meatballs when we go to warm them up. So let me get this into the four containers and I'll kind of show you guys how I'm gonna store it in the meal prep container. And then again, we'll just add the sauce on when we go to warm up our lunch. So here is the sauce. So you get quite a bit. Actually, it should be plenty for those three meatballs. You could add any remaining remaining sauce over your vegetables. You could also add just the buffalo sauce, not with the butter and the blue cheese, but just some extra buffalo sauce for zero points. If this isn't enough for you to have your meatballs as saucy as you want them. So what I do generally is I'll just kind of stick this container in my meal prep. And that way when I go to warm it up, I can take this out and I can warm up the veggies and the meatballs, put the sauce over the top and we have lunch. So let me grab the, get the containers into the meal prep container and I'll be back to give you smart points. All right here's lunch. So I took the lid off of one so you can kind of see what it looks like, but this is a huge, huge lunch. So let's go over the smart points. So for the meatballs, and this is sauce included, it is three smart points on both the blue and purple plan and four smart points on the green plan and 202 calories, which is not bad for three huge meatballs and the buffalo sauce that has butter and blue cheese in it. For the veggies here, I also divided those into four servings. We do have to count for the oil. So it's one point per serving for the oil, 151 calories calories here for the roasted veggies. So you guys, veggies, calories add up. That's why I like to track calories as well because 150 for zero point veggies can really add up. So 151 calories for that and one smart point. So my lunch, since I'm on the blue plan, is three for the meatballs in the sauce and one for the veggies. So this huge lunch is four points. If you choose the right foods, you can have a lot for the smart points.
sweet treat this week, we're making brownies. We're making healthy, clean eating, point friendly, ooey gooey fudgy brownies. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you'll need salt as salt brings out the sweetness. We're gonna use monk fruit sweetener. You can use any sweetener alternative of your choice. Flour, cocoa or cacao powder. I just generally use cacao powder just because it's the rawest form of the chocolate and it's really, really good for you. Lots of health benefits. I actually bought this off of Thrive. It has the best price hands down on Thrive for that. I also grabbed this off Thrive. This is the organic coconut palm sugar. I'm gonna do half coconut sugar, half monk fruit to kind of lower the smart points. You'll also need some Lily's chocolate chips or chocolate chips of your choice, butter, and some eggs. So let's make some ooey gooey brownies. All right, so to start our brownies, we're gonna go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. So in my measuring cup here, I have one cup flour and one, I'm sorry, one half of a cup flour and one half of a cup of cacao powder for a total of one cup. Again, you can use cocoa powder, whatever you have on hand. And then I have half of a cup of my monk fruit sweetener and half of a cup of my coconut sugar. And we're just going to give this a really quick stir. We just want everything to be combined really well before we add in the wet ingredients. I'm going to add in just a little pinch of salt too into the dry portion. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the wet. So I melted down my butter. I went ahead and measured this out on my food scale. It was basically eight tablespoons or I think it was 112 grams or something like that on my food scale. I can't remember. And then I also have three eggs and I have my Lily's chocolate chips, 480 chips or eight servings of the Lily's chocolate chips. I also weighed those on my food scale. So we're gonna combine this really well, get it mixed together. We don't wanna over mix, but we do want everything incorporated really well. And then we'll be ready to add this to our brownie pan. So I went ahead and pulled out my baking dish, lined it with some parchment paper. If you crinkle it up first, it tends to sit a bit better in the pan. Here is our brownie mix, yum. It's gonna be so good with those chocolate chips in there. And we're just gonna go ahead and add our mix directly to our baking dish. And then I'm just going to smooth it out as evenly as I can in the bottom. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. And we're just gonna let these cook for about five to 10 minutes or I'm sorry, 25 minutes until they're cooked through. I don't know why I said five to 10 minutes. Those would be some raw brownies. So we're just gonna cook these until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. All right, there's our brownies, you guys. I tasted the batter, it's amazing. It's so good, nice and sweet. So let's get these in the oven. I just pulled out the brownies. Don't these look delicious? I'm gonna let these cool completely. It's really easy to take them out. You just pull them out by the parchment paper. We're gonna cut these into 16 servings and I'll be back to show you the brownies and give you the smart points. All right, so here are the brownies. I cut them into 16 servings. I just tried one. Oh my God, you know what these taste like? They taste like brownies from a mix, like full sugar, super high point, like eight points or more per brownie. Absolutely delicious. So here is the size. It is a good size brownie. It's nice and thick. Look at that. I mean, it is ooey, gooey, and fudgy. It literally tastes like a full sugar high point brownie. But here's the deal with these brownies. 16 brownies. They are five smart points each on blue and purple and six smart points on green because you have to account for the egg. But if you use light butter, like I can't believe it's not butter light, you can lower the points by one. So it'd be four smart points on blue and purple and five on green. And they are 121 calories. Yes, please, I'm here for it. Yum, brownies, you guys. Legit, ooey gooey, fudgy brownies for five smart points. So here's snacks for the week. We're changing it up a little bit. A few of them. I did find a couple new things that I'm loving. So first, of course, I'm having built Bars. You guys know I like to have these as snacks. They keep me full. They pack a good punch of protein and fat. These be built Bars, the non-nut-based. So any of the flavors that aren't nut-based. And they are 
separated on the website. So you'll know which ones are nut based and which ones are not are three smart points. So any of the non nut based bars are three points. And then the nut based bars like this peanut butter here, these are four smart points. Well worth it, my friends, because it's 20 grams of protein, seven fiber and seven fat. Hello, that is a ton of protein, fat and fiber. So it keeps you nice and full. I love these and you can't beat three to four smart points because it literally tastes, no lie, like a candy bar. Built Bar is having a huge, and I mean huge sale right now, where they're liquidating all of the bars they have in stock, over 8 million, and donating every penny of the profits to the Black Lives Matter movement. Tons of great charities and causes that they're donating every penny to. So this is the time to stock up. They freeze beautifully. Actually, these came right out of the freezer. Highly recommend Built Bar. You can't beat it, and it's the best tasting protein bar out there. My code here on the screen gets you 10% off. Down in the description box, I will have the link if you're brand new that you'll actually get $10 off your first order. That is for first time customers only. And on the next screen, I will type out all of the information for the promotion if that kind of helps you guys. But it's the best promotion they have ever, ever, ever had. So I'll put that here on the next screen. I'm also going to be having protein shakes. You guys know that I pretty much have a smoothie or protein shake every single day. It's a great way to get in some extra protein. I love it either before or after my workout. And I have been loving Live Well. You got this. I'm not even joking when I say that this is my go-to protein. This is what I reach for every time I get in my pantry. I love the vanilla. It is plant-based, but it does not have that chalkiness of plant-based protein. It's so smooth and creamy and sweet. It's so good. It is only one smart point per scoop. And you guys, these ingredients are the best. I have not found a protein powder with better ingredients than the Live Well. The only other thing I found with this good of ingredients is the Primal Kitchen collagen and peanut butter or any of the flavors. I'll pop in a picture for you guys. That one has really good ingredients too, but it doesn't have as much protein. It's not a protein powder. It's a collagen powder, but it's really, really really good. I love the vanilla. I love the cacao and cacao is the rawest form of cocoa. It is the best for you. There are 17 grams of protein per scoop. It's one point. You can't beat it. I mix it with some almond milk, some fruit. In fact, my new favorite with, um, the chocolate is like a chocolate and berry, like a chocolate covered strawberry. Oh, so good. So good. You guys will see that in Wednesday's video. Highly recommend live well, the lowest point, cleanest protein I can find and not your typical plant protein. I do have a code for live well as well. It will be here on the screen and is linked down below. Highly recommend. Now I found these crackers kind of on a whim. I was starving. I was out the other day doing, uh, washing our sleeping bags at the laundromat. My stomach was growling. So I stopped by natural grocers and you guys know, I love simple mills. These are the sun dried tomato and basil. I've actually never had these crackers. I five points for 17, which is a ton. These are incredible. They are so delicious. You can also buy these off of the Thrive Market. You guys know that's down below. And then I dipped it in hummus. And you guys know Hope is my very, very favorite hummus. This is the one that I picked up in my grocery haul because it was the only flavor that they had. And it's really good. For original hummus, it's amazing. And you can have three tablespoons for one smart point or two smart points. I'm sorry, three tablespoons, two smart points. Traditional hummus, you can have two tablespoons. So you get one extra tablespoon for the smart points. This one's actually my very, very favorite. It's the kale pesto. I love it. You guys, this is the cleanest hummus. The oil is fantastic. The ingredients are absolutely amazing. They're even made with organic chickpeas and chickpeas are heavily sprayed with glycosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So everything about this hummus is perfection and it's delicious. So I'll have crackers and hummus Thomas, obsessed with this protein powder and built bars. So those are my snacks for the week. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's My WW Meal Prep. I am so excited about these recipes. I hope that you are just as excited as I am. All of these recipes will be on my website. My website is linked down in the description box below. Also in the description box is the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our huge community over there. It's very supportive, engaging. You can ask your questions, lots of fun tips and tricks shared. So head on over and join us there. Also, if you're new, I'd love for you to stick around hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified when
when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss a single video. Also give this one a big thumbs up if you're here for the meal prep. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you're checking out the description box for the website for recipes, Facebook group, all my discount codes and links to my favorite things are down there as well. Thank you again. Have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.